What's going on, Schmitty Garage? We are working on an 08 F-150 doing a serpentine belt. Um, it is a, uh, if you ever want to know if you know if you need a new belt or not, generally cracks are not a good thing. Usually once you start seeing cracks, you want to change it out. Or I suppose if it starts to make some squealing noises, or gets frayed and whatnot, but primarily cracks is when you want to change it. So, in order to get the belt off, that would be, let me get positioned here. It's hard enough to work on cars, let alone try to do a video of it. All right, so there's your belt tensioner, right down there. So I got this tool, it's a half inch. So it's a, I got an old American made craftsman serpentine belt tool that you can do an angle. You wanna go down, push down on it. So that would be like turning it uh, right, which will push, take the tension off the belt. Um, let me get a position here. There's really not going to be any good position to do this. Um, let me see. Do, do, do. Right, I'm going to put it right there. There you go. So you push down and take it off the, uh, probably I'm gonna do the alternator. And you let it off the tension off the tensioner. And you gotta pull the tool off probably to get the belt out. want to remember how you took it off so basically it goes around so it goes from the AC around this uh, idler pulley and then to the alternator and then from the alternator to the other idler pulley right over here it goes under that one under both idlers, then around the power steering pump right there, on the outside, on the outside of that uh, other idler pulley down there, and then over the water pump cooling fan, and then around the crank. <clears throat> All right, let's get this off. Time is money. How the heck do you get that? Oh, you just pull it through, okay. So we take it off the AC. I'm gonna pull it through. In between there and there. Take it off the crank. Take it off the power steering. And yank. Come on. So when I put this back in, I'm gonna go back through this exact same hole. Son of a gun, you.
Something you always want to do is you take your new belt and you match it up to the old one. You don't want to be fighting with all those pulleys and find out you got the wrong belt. So, can I feed the belt back through the same hole the way, same way I did it? Gonna go through here, and then we gotta get it around that crank first. I gotta take these dang gloves off. I can't work with these gloves on. So I pulled it through, going through the hole. We gotta turn this sideways and get it around that darn crank. Okay, so, put it around the crank first, and then back through the left upper idler pulley, you want to fold it, and then feed it through this hole above the belt tensioner. through and now I'm working on the uh, AC compressor down there wrap it around the AC compressor okay see yeah it's really hard to see I'm just doing it by feel We have to work on this side. So you can see down there, it's around the crank. Um, let me get it back in position here. Okay. So then this one is gonna go on top of the alternator, but we need to get uh, some twist the belt. There we go. And then it went around. Okay, 
went around the uh, water pump. And then this is what I forgot already. Okay, went underneath this one. It goes around the power steering. Do, 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 do. Now I'm gonna pull it back off the AC, or the, um, pulling it back off the uh, alternator. That'll be the last one. And then under this side, idler. Once the belt 